Well, good morning, YouTube land out there. Welcome to our inspirational content this morning. We are at our 228th day to this awesome Bible challenge, and we're going to read 1 Samuel, the second chapter today. I'm going to do it a little bit different um, for the sake of time and me needing to get to my father right away. Uh, we are going to read the summary instead of the scripture and then the summary. This particular summary is pretty close to reading the scripture and at the same time, it has a lot of clarity that goes along with it. That's why I like it so much. And uh, I might even start doing it uh, while I am caring for my father. Uh, <clears throat> So let's go ahead and jump right into this. You cannot follow along with me, but you can hear me. And I am having water this morning. I've already started on it. It's not a full bottle, but you all let me know in the comments what you're drinking like you usually do. And let's go ahead and, and get into this this morning. Samuel's mother, Hannah, praises the Lord for allowing her to have Samuel and, and dedicate him to the temple she warns the people to not be arrogant, for God weighs their actions. He can make the rich poor and the poor rich. She says that he can also bring up a lowly man and cast down a man who is too full of himself. God will also destroy his enemies and exalt those who believe in him. The next uh, content to this scripture is uh, Eli cares for Samuel. Remember, Eli is the priest. Samuel has been given into the care of Eli, a priest, and the child serves the Lord, even though Eli's sons do not. When there is a sacrifice that Eli has to preside over, Samuel accompanies him as a servant. While the flesh of the sacrificed animal is burning, it is Samuel's job to take a fork and pull out some of the meat to give to the priest. This is done with all the sacrifices of all the Israelites. So this is, this is the job that Eli has taught Samuel, uh, the child Samuel to do, and Samuel is growing up. Uh, rules for sacrifice. The priest's servant also tells the men who bring sacrifice to donate flesh to the priest to roast. The priest will only accept raw meat and not meat that has been boiled. If the person making the sacrifice tells the servant to burn it up, the fat first, and then whatever he wanted, the servant would insist that the meat be given right then or it would be taken forcefully. So that's the rules for the sacrifice, which is another part, another content to the scripture, 1 Samuel 2nd chapter. Uh, the next uh, content in that scripture is Samuel as a child. Samuel continues to serve the Lord as a child. He sees his parents at least once a year when they bring the yearly sacrifice to Shiloh and every year his mother brings him a new coat. Eli the priest blesses both Hannah and her husband Elkanai and thanks them for letting Samuel serve at the temple. He prays that they have another child to replace him. Indeed, Hannah and Elkai <coughs> Elkai have five more children. <laughs> and this is a woman who was barren. Okay, because y'all know Samuel is a miracle child. And she promised God if he gave her a son that she would give him back to him. So she sacrificed and she kept her word and, and she gave Samuel to the church, to the priest. And so, uh, as we just read, Samuel gets to see his parents only one time a year. But <clears throat> the priest prays over the parents that they will be able to have at least one other child to replace Samuel and God blesses them with five more children. <laughs> Samuel continues to serve at the temple and Eli grows old. He knows that his sons are fornicating outside of the temple and rebukes them. But Samuel continues to find favor with God and as well as men. Amen. Amen. That that is a really nice story of Samuel and it continues on. 
So uh, Samuel is growing up in the temple in the care of Eli, but it ends that Eli is growing old. So look forward to Samuel 3 tomorrow. And happy Wednesday, y'all. Oh, God, it is so bitter cold in Chicago land. I don't know what's going on where you all are. But stay warm, stay dry, stay encouraged. And remember, God loves you. I do too.